So besides the report section regarding Agile, Jira, since uh, it's an issue tracker, has a lot of reports which are focused on issue analysis. So let's see the most important ones. The first one, for example, it shows the average age reported. What does that mean? So it shows the average age of unresolved issues for a project or filter. So let's open it and we can configure this. It automatically took our project, but we can change it to another project or to a filter. Uh, period it has daily period and per default it takes 30 days we can change everything but let's first see how it works so what this shows us is the number of issues which were created in the past 30 days and are still unresolved let's uh, make this number a little bit smaller so that we can analyze it better so we still leave it in a daily, but we make it in the past 10 days. That's better. So we can see in the past 10 days, we had a trend of a lot of issues <coughs> being created and not being resolved. Then at one point we resolved a few. And for the last period of time, so the last two days, we are at a stable level. We also have the same information here um, as a table. So if this were an actual project, this would be really bad because it seems we keep piling up issues and um, we're not resolving them. And issues uh, which are unresolved um, spend more and more time in that state. Let's see another one. Go back to our reports and um, created versus resolved issues. This uh, gives us also a really good overview of um, how our project uh, evolves. So let me show you what I mean. You can configure this as well. So it can be either on project level or on filter level. You have the period of daily, weekly, even yearly, um, the previous number of days, if you want to add the totals together or, or not. So let's leave the defaults and make next. And what this shows us is the red part are the issues which have been created in the past 30 days and the green part, the resolved issues. So it seems we created more issues than we resolved in the past 30 days. But let's make it a little bit smaller, make it the past five days. And in the past five days, as you can see, we resolved more issues than we created. As with the other reports, you also have the same information from the table, uh, from the chart, you have it in the table. Okay, let's see another report. Um, the pie chart report. The pie chart report is basically Jira's way of telling you, you want the pie chart? No problem. Just give me what you want, so the project or the filter, and the statistics type. So let's see, we have a pie chart now for the assignees on project level. Let's change it um, for the reporter. So we have now for the reporter a pie chart. And I think you got the point with the pie chart. It's really nice, especially since a lot of people like pie charts. So Jira gives you the opportunity to create pie charts really fast. The next ones which we can have a look at will be the recently created issue report. Let me open that, close these two tabs here. So again, you can specify the filter, the period. And what this shows is the ratio of created in regards to resolved issues. So as you can see, we had in the past 30 days, a lot more resolved issues than created issues. And now let's have a look at the last chart regarding the reporting of time. So Jira also gives us the possibility to track um, how much time was 
spent on the issues. Um, this chart, as you can see here, um, shows number of issues based on the created field. In the next video, we're going to check these three um, reports, and I'm also going to show you how we can add estimations, how we can add work, so that these time tracking reports are relevant. See you in the next one.